Welcome again to Programming in JBasic. This is episode 10 and today we are going to learn about something really cool. It is 3D rendering. For me personally, 3D rendering has always been fascinating. I wanted to know how a computer draws 3D objects to a 2D surface. In this lesson, we will go through the fundamentals of this topic. Our object we want to draw exists of a few points and edges connecting them. A point has three values, x, y, and z. An edge has two values that both refer to the two points which it connects. And optionally, you can give it a color. We won't be drawing faces because that would be too much to calculate. So we just draw a wireframe, which is already exciting. At the very first of our program, we load the points and put them in three separate lists, so we can access them quicker. There is one thing we can easily do, create depth. This is called perception. How further something is, how smaller it appears. We use the following formula. x times v divided by z is x, and the same for y, where v is a zoom value. We will set it to 128. We also have to move the points so the object is in the middle of the screen. Now we loop through the edge list and draw the lines using only list 1 and 2. For the next two additions, we have to understand that the camera will stay still and the world or object will move around. Now we are ready to translate our object. We simply add up the values to each of the points. There are two things we have to watch out for. We have to do this before we create depth. And we have to invert our values because we are not moving a camera, we are moving the object. Now there is only one thing left we can do with our object. Rotate it. This is a bit more complex and uses some math. If we rotate around the y-axis, which means looking left or right, we have to change the x and z values. We do this with this formula. Similarly, to rotate around the x-axis, which is the same as looking up or down, we use this formula. The code for the rotation has to go between the translation and the perception. After adding in controls, we can test this. It takes about 5 seconds to render one frame, which is why this will probably not be used as often. As last addition, we can make a camera path that circles around our object. I know this was a pretty long episode, but I really wanted you to understand that 3D rendering is quite simple if you get how it works. As always, there is a link to the source code of the program and you will also find the lists of the example object. Thanks for watching and I will see you next time.